Hey guys, Matt here. Um, something popped up on my time hop uh, yesterday and I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, this is a Dunstan uh, chestnut tree that's in my orchard here. And um, I wanted to show you uh, just how much they grow and how much it is recovered from what it looked like from when I bought it from Walmart and how much it was neglected. Um, this, this tree here is um, going on its sixth growing season right now. So um, I'll show the picture here in just a minute in the video, or I'll try. I'm not very good at editing videos um, by any means. So we'll do that now. Okay, we're well back. Hopefully uh, you saw the picture there. Um, and uh, as you can see, uh, it was the tree on the right in, in the picture there. Um, I originally bought two trees. One of them didn't make it. The tree on the left in the picture did not make it. Uh, it was too far gone. Both of them had been um, uh, severely neglected. They hadn't been watered or anything. and. Um, and the, the Texas heat had got to them pretty good, and as you could see in the picture. And uh, uh, they were they were almost almost too far gone, actually. And uh, I got with the, uh, the, the manager in the garden center at Walmart, and they gave me a real good deal. They actually wanted, I think, like 35 or $40 or something like that a piece, and uh, I got them for $10 a piece, I believe. So, um, anyway, I took them both home and this one was the only one that survived. So anyways, you can tell it's turned into a nice tree and, um, I just wanted to kind of show that because that, that picture popped up in my time hop, uh, yesterday. So I'll kind of walk around it so you can see it's it's trying to bloom right now and it's got chestnuts all over it it's been a uh, you can count on it to uh, always have a pretty decent crop of chestnuts last year was kind of an off year we had a late freeze and uh didn't produce much it had didn't have many on it last year so anyway, it's got a lot of catkins on it this year and let's see if I can find any female flowers Hadn't really looked on this tree this year. It's gonna make a liar out of me if I can't find any. Burrs. Huh. Well, guys, I'm not seeing any yet. I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of catkins, obviously. And this tree is just now starting to bloom. Actually, I think it's kind of late this year. Usually it blooms pretty early. I'm sure it has some in the top of the tree. Of course, I can't reach up there. My experience with Dunstan is that uh, usually a lot of the chestnuts are in the top half of the tree. 
And of course, I can't reach up there, so. Well, I'm not seeing anything in the lower half of the tree. Well, maybe there's something up there. It's kind of I guess we'll know after a little while if there's anything up there. So I certainly don't see anything low. Huh. It's kind of disheartening. Like I said, I hadn't really checked this tree to see if I saw any burrs real low. course I'm not really relying on this tree for any type of production so I mean if it makes something it just makes but it is a nice tree Has a lot of blooms on it though this year. I'm sure there's some burrs up there somewhere. They're just hiding from me right now. All right, guys. Well, I'll do an update on this uh, tree uh, once it gets a little older and we'll We'll see if uh, there are any chestnuts formed on this tree. Because I'm certainly not seeing anything on the lower branches right now that looks like a burr. But uh, it doesn't mean anything. There's not, there doesn't mean that there's not anything up higher on the tree. Last year, all the nuts were way up in the top, like I said, top half of the tree. Which may be the case this year. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, if you like these type of videos, um, like and subscribe because uh, I'll have more of this type of content. Appreciate it. Take care.